Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts and I am back with another video with Creating with the Sketches. This is a sketch book created by Allison Davis and it is a collaboration that I am doing with Nicole and a bunch of other people. I'm going to be using this Doodlebug collection called The Great Outdoors, another super cute collection from Doodlebug. This month we are using Sketch Option one page number two. I am following inspiration from the left side. I'm going to be using option number 13 and for the right side I'm going to be using option number 23. When I first started picking out the papers I loved this tree paper and then I picked out the brown paper that looks like it's like wood grain and at first I was like oh this is going to be like very Christmassy. So that's when I went ahead and decided let me figure out all the other colors that I can pull in. I definitely wanted to pull in this plaid piece. There is no stripes in this collection and so this is the only piece of paper that has like all of the colors in it and then that is going to allow me to bring in a bunch of the other colors. This is the paper that I was telling you about that has the wood grain on it. It is very subtle, but it just looks like kind of like the side of a tree. I'm looking at the petite print cover to see what other colors I can bring in that will make this not look as Christmassy. And I decided to go with the yellow. I wanted to back the photos in a yellow. So I'm just kind of auditioning which yellow I want to use. And I do end up using this really, really small grid and it's like tone on tone yellow. I think that that is perfect. It really makes these photos pop. These photos are from when we went to Blue Springs back in 2021. And I will tell you that some of these photos are from the internet. When you are on a kayak, it's very hard to take photos. Like I had a water camera and I just didn't get the greatest photos. So these three photos here, I pulled from the Blue Springs website, which I am perfectly okay with because these photos are a lot better than any photo that I'm ever gonna take. These are things that we saw when we were there. So I feel like it's still okay. So I'm showing you here that on the right hand side, I'm going to end up using a grid and I had a bunch of photos and I was pointing out what spaces I needed. When I was using the spreadsheet to organize my photos and decide what sketch I was going to use and what paper I was going to use, I went through and looked at this collection and I was like, I want to focus on Bigfoot. Bigfoot has nothing to do with this particular adventure that we were on, but I was like, if I can pull all the Bigfoot stuff, I will be super happy because he's just so cute. I knew that I wanted to use that four by four that said hello nature and Bigfoot's kind of like hiding behind the trees, which then plays into the tree paper on the left hand side of the layout. I'm going to go ahead and lay out my photos again and then put in the three pieces of pattern paper that I cut out. So I have the hello nature with Bigfoot. I have that blue pattern that I'm going to be using this shaker piece from, and then I have this pattern paper that just has all the different icons on it and I'm going to put my journaling there. So most of that gets covered up but I definitely have that little Bigfoot peeking out down at the bottom. I went ahead and added my two photos to the bottom section and when I went to add the photo in the center I didn't like the fact that the photos were all touching. It just needed a little bit of border. I just cut off a little bit on each side, just enough so that the yellow can peek through and then the photos aren't touching in all of them. Like they're touching on the two bottom ones and then on the two far left ones. But I felt like having that one additional photo with they're all touching, it was just too much. And just that added pattern paper really helped that photo stand out. And that photo is actually of me and Eli in the kayak. I thought that one would be a good one to mat and kind of stand out from the other ones. I'm going through the embellishment pieces and this is the first time that I'm using this collection so I haven't put them on the page protectors yet. I actually take a break and do that because it was just so overwhelming the amount of embellishments that you get with all of this collection. I pulled out the little sign that has the Bigfoot crossing on it. The sign doesn't end up on the right hand side of the layout but it does end up on the left. So then I start working on the left hand side of the layout now that I've got my kind of grid down. I went ahead and added the brown piece of paper to the center. Because I made that piece a little bit bigger I ended up having to take this entire layout up. It was so frustrating but I did that off camera. I went ahead and cut that green piece in the center, I kind of gutted it because I knew that it was gonna be covered up by that brown piece and I wanted to save that green paper because it's just so cute. 
Once I get the brown paper down, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the plaid paper. And I did leave just a little bit of room just to make sure that I can maximize that tree paper and you can see a majority of it. I didn't wanna cover up any more than I had to. Once I get the plaid paper down, then I'm gonna add the yellow paper and my photos on top of it. As I'm doing that, I wanna remind you guys that this is a collaboration that I am doing and all of the participants are posted below with their links. So if you want to check out how other people interpreted this sketch, this is paid content so we can't share the sketch, but being able to see how other people interpret, maybe they use the original sketch, maybe they used the different options that were available like I did, their layouts are going to be very different than mine. And that's what I love about doing collaborations with people and using the exact same sketch or options of those sketches, because it is amazing how different the layouts turn out. And I am super excited to go through and see all the different variations and then possibly use those variations in my own layouts. This particular layout, I was able to get nine photos on it and I feel like there is a lot going on in this layout, but it is well done because of the placement and the way that it just lays out because of that sketch. So the sketch calls for a cluster in the bottom left and then uh, in the top right of the layout. And uh, this is a one page sketch. So uh, the one page you can see really does focus kind of like all the embellishments on that particular one page. I went ahead and added Bigfoot to the bottom left and I added the canoe. Now we were in kayaks, but the canoe I felt like fit there as well. And it has a little water, so it kind of fits really nicely. Um, and it uses that brown and yellow piece as its shelf. And then I went ahead and added the Bigfoot crossing sign right next to that canoe. I will tell you that I tried to use those paddles multiple times. Like every cluster I tried to add those paddles in, it does end up making it to the layout, but not until the very, very end. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna be doing to that cluster. And at that point, I don't think that I've decided that I was going to put my journaling there. So I thought that I would just put in some embellishments, but then I was like, oh yeah, I need a space to put my journaling. Uh, so I abandoned that idea at that moment and start working again on the left-hand side. And I added a nature lover with some trees right next to Bigfoot and a big sun up there. That sun is definitely not proportionate to that boat, but I felt like it looked really cute. I'm going through the mini icons and I wanted to add these like butterflies and so I added two little butterflies up there to the top. I'm going to try to make that canoe paddles work again and it just doesn't. My title is going to be Off We Go Kayaking Adventures and I found this sticker that said Off We Go with the arrow on it and the top part also has a backing. I think that you're supposed to be able to like take that off and maybe put glitter on it or some other things to make it look a different color. But I just left the backing on it because I wanted the title to be white. And then I put some flat stickers down and then use some tile stickers and put those up on fun phones for the word adventure. I'm gonna be using this die that I got uh, for my journaling again so that I could do some journaling strips. I cut out my journaling and then I use the extra pieces that I did not put anything on to stack up my journaling and so it gives some depth to my journaling strips and I really like that. I got this idea from Nicole in her Facebook group which I will link below if you'd like to join it. She has a Google Sheet that is formatted to work perfectly with this particular die so all you have to do is put in your journaling and print it out and then it is spaced evenly to work with this die. Once I get the three pieces glued together, I do go ahead and cut them down just a little bit. This gives me the opportunity to make them different sizes, but it also gives me the opportunity because I can never line them up exactly right. By cutting them after I glue them, it gives me the opportunity to make sure that they are even on each side and there's not like one piece that's sticking out more. I do go ahead and ink all of the edges in the orange that I inked all the other paper with as well. And I think that that really helps stand it out. So I'm gonna try to bring some trees in. I know I wanted to add some type of embellishment to this square as well. And the trees just didn't work. So I took a break and was like, let me go ahead and get my journaling strips down and then I can decide what I want to do. And I bring my paddle oars back out. They actually make it on the layout at this point. I was like, I'm gonna get these oars in here 
no matter what. So I went ahead and overlapped it a little bit to that photo. That photo next to it is just how clear the water is. Like you can see the bottom of the springs. I love visiting the springs. The temperature is always super cold, which is always nice when it's 100 degrees outside. Uh, if you ever visit Florida, definitely check out one of our springs. All right, here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Make sure you check out the links below so that you can watch all of the other participants create a layout using this sketch and get inspiration from them as well. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.